The president of the Catholic Lady Council of the Church of the Archangels Parish in Durumi Gadua Abuja, High Chief Rose Ima Okolo, has graduated from the prestigious Kenneth Hagen Bible School, where she obtained diploma in ministerial studies and spiritual leadership. With these additional feathers to her cap, the Lady Council President can now be addressed as an evangelist. City News was present at the ceremony. From different denominations and all walks of life, these Bible scholars are gathered here in this hall for their 2024 graduation ceremony. Rema Bible Training Center is a Bible Institute founded by Kenneth Hagen with branches in several countries of the world, including Nigeria. At the 11th Convocation Ceremony, which includes the Lady Council Chairperson of the Church of the Archangels Parish, Dorimi Gadua, High Chief Rose Ima Okolo, there were testimonies to the power of the Word of God. The commencement speaker and the National Director of Rema Bible Training Center, Nigeria, Rev. Tokumbo Adejuwo, in his remarks, charged the graduate to take the teaching of the Word of God seriously. Those who are graduating today in the school of one Tyrannus, Every day, he began to teach God's word. As a result of what he did, the whole of Asia heard the word of God. As a result of what he did, two years of solid teaching of God's word. In verse 20, that so mightily grew the word of God and prevailed. Now, what led to all this happening? He started with Paul taking time out in Ephesus for a space of two years and teaching God's word. To those people on a daily basis like you sat in class you know every week week in week out weekend after weekend class after class you had uh, 600 hours class hours of teaching at least some of you had more than 600 in addition to the 600 class hours of teaching you had 200 hours of practical ministry then you sat exams you took exams then in addition to those exams, you did quizzes as well. And then your character was just as important. If you did not abide by the school rules, you could have been expelled. Uh, you could have been suspended. But your character also, all those things were all part of the training that you received. So I'll encourage you to do that. Take that seriously. Your own personal devotions. Remember what Jesus said to his disciples. He said, could you not watch with me an hour? After the commencement lecture, there were presentation of buttons to the graduating Bible scholars. Samuel Ezechi, Grace Ewalche, some of the coordinators spoke to CTV News. This is our 11th graduation for our students at Rema Bible Training Center. What message do I have for our graduates, now graduates of Rema and alumni members? That they will do gallantly, they will do greater works. Like Brother Hagin will always say when he talked about the Trump, Trump, Trump message that the, the graduates of Rema will go to the ends of the world with the gospel in their mouth and with a pioneering spirit. So we believe that this stu the students that are now graduates are going forth in the power of the Holy Spirit with the word of God in their mouth and bringing souls to the kingdom of God. And mentored in the things of God. What I have learned in Rema for the past two years has actually improved my spiritual life. I have been transformed with what I learned here in my evangelical ministry, in my supportive ministry, in my societal leadership, and in my spiritual work. Not just uh, humanitarian work, but in my personal work with God. In Rema, I have equally learned what it means. That portion of scripture that says, without faith, it is highly impossible to please God. The grandfather of Rema Bible College, late Kenneth Hagen, 
or we usually call him brother Hagen. You know, he, God called him into faith ministry or faith apostolate. And with the teachings and trainings I have learned here, I know that faith is the totality of our journey with God. Faith, hope, love, and charity. We just had our 11th graduation ceremony, a 2024 graduating class. And my message to every one of them is that let them go and uh, the things they've been taught in classes, it is time to leave it out in the open. Uh, let them go as light in darkness and um, as sheep among wolves, <laughs> knowing that the name of Jesus and the authority of the believer guarantees divine protection. Coming to Rema as an individual because it's a journey that I too took part of and my graduation is the same time as this. It's a life-changing experience. And just like the national director said, you know, it's not in the hearing, but in the doing of it. And so my word to all of us is that we should go out there and do something that will let the world know, just like the world had got to know that Peter and the other disciples have been with Jesus, that the world will know that indeed we have been fully impacted because it's a life-changing experience that should go on and go on and go on. When you are a student in Rema, for whatever reason, you are not allowed to change your church or to change your denomination. If there be anything, is to make sure you are a better member or a better worker or a better minister in your denomination. Then, like I said before, this is a ministry or a school that is not church-based at all. You will see our curriculums, you will see our instructors, you will see our reading assignments, which are books. You will see that they are from the, they cut across all denominations. It's only one thing we have in common, and that is the Bible. It's the Word of God, and it's, that's what we emphasize. The national director um, exhorted us. He said, it is only knowledge that is put to practice that produces results. So Rhema students and graduates receive an equipping of the knowledge of God's word and of the impartation of the spirit of God to go out into the world and do exactly what God has called them to do, to live out the plan of God for their lives. A big congratulation to my principal, High Chief, Mrs. Rose Imokolo. Since I know her, I've learned humility. I've learned the, I have learned to have this giving spirit because as the word goes, without charity, without love, it's very impossible to please God. And today she's graduating from the uh, from the Rema school. Seriously, I know that uh, where she's coming from, because the way she talks the vibrancy in her, the way she connects things, and that she's coming from the right source. In Abuja, Tony Abba, CTV News.